I'm brought to Yahawa, Brakata, Yahawa Shah, brought to Yahawa, Brakata, Yahawa Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth. And in sincerity, this lesson will be entitled The Accuser of Our Brethren. Lord, will you are edified. The clip you are about to watch comes from the YouTube handle Fuchsius TV. This individual that is about to speak is a rapper from Chicago, a drill rapper called Billionaire Black. Pay close attention to what he's about to say. Yeah. Do you think you're, you're ever going to stop? You know what I'm saying? This and that, man. Shit, I just got the phone with the label. They said they want more dissing fucks. <laughs> the label wants more drill music. Music that promotes a demonic vibration. Music that promotes homicide slash genocide. Music that is extremely destructive. The labels want more music such as this. And this is coming from a well-known drill music artist, Billionaire Black, who moved from Chicago and now he currently lives in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on right now. I'm so confused, bro. Nigga, you know. You know what's going on. And you get paid to promote this demonic music. You know what's going on. Stop playing ignorant. Me and my brother just on the phone delay, bro. The nigga just said, he can come this and maybe we want up this. This is just fuck my head up. But that pretty telling me stop this. Now they like, saying this everybody's wrong. Well, like, I don't know, bro. Like. And that's the focal point of this lesson. Drill music. According to Wikipedia, drill music is defined as a style of trap music defined by its dark, violent, and nihilistic, which means no morals, no values, lyrical content, and omnius, which means threatening trap influenced beats. Okay. Second source comes from Google.com Business Slakia, BusinessInsider.com. And this article is entitled Former Music Exec Describes the Scary Meeting That Resulted in Today's Violent Rock Music. What if rap music is just a tool to turn impressionable listeners into prison-bound degenerates? And you degenerates, focusing on so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native American Indians, okay, who are Israelites based on the lineage of our fathers. All right. Drill music is created and composed to push a demonic vibration as a tool to destroy our people. When you think about country music, look at the goals of country music. They're talking about drinking and partying, okay, and basically having fun, even love. And most of these so-called country singers are Jake anyway. However, a lot of so-called white people who are Edomites listen to this music, not knowing that most of those popular country singers are Jake. But that's another lesson. 
That's what one man claiming to be a former music executive said in an anonymous letter published today by the blog hiphopisred.com. According to the Mystery Man's letter, Gangster Rap is a product designed to benefit private prison systems. Hmm. Is there is that another reason why the label informed billionaire black to make more drill music? The man writes that he went to a LA meeting in nineteen ninety one and immediately signed a confidentiality agreement. What followed shocked him and the other people at the meeting. The industry executives were asked to promote gangster rap in order to drive up the number of inmates and profits for the private prison systems, which funded the business. What? The industry executives were asked to promote gangster rap in order to drive up the number of inmates and profits for the private prison system systems which funded the business. And that's another reason why you had trap music and gangster rap. Okay, one angle to destroy our people, a form of genocide, and also send our people to prison. Here is part of the man's account of the meeting. Quickly after the meeting began, one of my industry colleagues, who shall remain nameless like everyone else, thanked us for attending. He then gave the floor to a man who only introduced himself by first name and gave no further details about his personal background. I think he was the owner of the residence but it was never confirmed. He briefly praised all of us for the success we had achieved in our industry and congratulated us for being selected as part of this small group of decision makers. At this point, I began to feel slightly uncomfortable as Salakia at the strangeness of this gathering. The subject quickly changed as the speaker went on to tell us that the respective companies we represented had invested in a very profitable industry which could become even more rewarding with our active involvement. He explained that the companies we worked for had invested millions into the building of privately owned prisons and that our positions of influence in the music industry would actually impact the profit profitability of these investments. I remember many of us in the group immediately looking at each other in confusion. At the time, I didn't know what a private prison was, but I wasn't the only one. Sure enough, someone asked what these prisons were and what any of this had to do with us. We were told that these prisons were built by privately owned companies who received funding from the government based on the number of inmates. The more inmates, the more money the government will pay these prisons. Okay? Esau <laughs> is the wicked. There is no good in him. All right? And the system is set up to oppress and destroy Jake. Right? Revelation 
12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is, now is come salvation and strength. Why? Because Yahweh Shah has destroyed Esau's kingdom. Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Mashiach, which means what? Anointed. All right. And the kingdom of heaven can also be identified as the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, meaning what? Esau's rulership has been destroyed. Let's focus on accuser in the Greek. You know what? Let's finish out the scripture. Which accuse them before our power day and night. And that's what he does. He has his witches and warlocks to inform Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah how we are going off. However, He's the reason why. Look at the environment. He places Jake in. The guns, the drugs, the single parent household. Then he goes to the Most High and say, look at these monsters that you call your people. Let's focus on Accuser, according to the Greek. Strong's G2723, Categareo, Categareo. According to outline of biblical usage, to accuse before a judge. Who's the judge? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, to make an accusation. Right. So he's telling the Most High, we are wicked. That is his accusation. Now, these are supposed to be your holy people. But look at the wicked acts they're doing on earth. So in a nutshell, Esau is claiming to be a fucking plaintiff. When he is the wicked, he's the reason why the world is in such, such poor condition. Because of poor management. And that's the result. Right? Of being the fucking wicked. To charge with some offense. So he's saying we're the wicked. No, you're the wicked. Right? So who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom, right, so-called white people based on the lineage of their fathers, said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places going into the Renaissance. And Renaissance means what? Rebirth, right? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And Yahweh Shah is about to come and destroy Esau's rulership at the allotted time once the Most High gives him the green light. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, the people against whom the Lord Yahweh has indignation forever. These are the wicked. They control the world for an allotted time. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We just identified the wicked, right? He covered the faces of the judges thereof, literal, painting Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, as well as the heavenly hosts, as well as Israelites, so-called white. 
or red. Okay? When our skin complexion, beginning with the most high, is dark skinned, right? A derivative of some form of brown. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This man is the wicked. And what he does is he's an accuser, a so-called plaintiff, when everything that's going on in earth is his fucking fault. And rap music is just another tool used to destroy our people. Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. And at this time frame, the God of this world is the nation of Edom, beginning with the international bankers who are, like who are Edomites. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained or established of the Most High. So the Most High, through his son, Yahushua, gave them a time frame to rule in wickedness. All right. First Samuel 16 and 14. But the spirit of the Lord Yahweh departed from Saul. And an evil spirit from the Lord, Yahweh, troubled him. That goes to show you how the Most High controls both sides. The good and the evil. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from the Most High trouble you. Let our Lord now command your servants which are before you to seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High is upon you that he shall play with his hand and you shall be well. Verse 17. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Verse 18. Then answer one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning and plain and mighty, valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord Yahweh is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David your son, which is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent and sent them by David, his son, unto Saul. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his arm, armor bearer, or bearer, Salakim. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray you, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High was on Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed, meaning what? That evil spirit had been removed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Drill music is another mechanism used to place evil spirits upon our people. Right? And Esau knows this. See, Esau, beginning with the nobility of Edom, they understand the scriptures and they know that music can be utilized to bring evil spirits upon our people upon our people and that's the reason why drill music is defined as 
dark and violent and nihilistic, okay? And this word is a form of music. And therefore, if you are born again, right, these evil spirits will depart from you. Back into Revelation 12 and 10. For the accuser of our brethren, brethren is cast out. And Esau loves to play victim, right? He creates a situation that promotes us to go off. And he thinks he's justified in identifying us as the wicked when in actuality, he's the wicked. And therefore, okay, he's going to be punished. All right. Lord will, this was an edifying lesson. A shalom.